Linda Common Sense Choices, and I'm Linda Tupin. Well, this is episode number 15. If this is your very first time, pull up a chair and join the conversation. If this is not your first episode, you're a veteran and you know the drill. And today, you guys, I have so many requests of you. You're probably going to need a notebook and an ink pen just to keep track of all of them. First of all, I want to know where you're from. What city and what state are you listening from? And then how many of these episodes have you listened to? All right. Now, I know this is just kind of a, a rough estimate. I don't need to know the exact number if you don't know the exact number. But there's been 15 episodes and there's been six mailbox episodes. Now, the mailbox episodes, if you haven't seen one, is when you get to be the star. And I actually read your comments out loud uh, for everyone and um, highlight many of you. And then we also announce our winners because every time that you like, comment, and share, your name goes into a drawing for something special from lindatupin.com. That's T as in Tom, O-U, P as in Peter, I-N. lindatupin.com over there. There's a little souvenir store called Stuff I Didn't Know I Needed that supports our mantra. Now you see over here in the background uh, behind me, a seven foot piece of art. And that seven foot piece of art is the foundation for our podcast, Common Sense Choices. We also have it on an eight by eight canvas print, and we also have it on our coffee mug. It's all about personal responsibility, and let's say it together. I am where I am by the choices I have made, or I have allowed others to make for me. If you want a different life, you simply have to make different choices. And so you can pick those things up over at lindatupin.com. But more importantly, over at lindatupin.com, you guys, there is an opportunity for you to sign up and actually hear from me every Thursday night. I don't know about you, but I kind of like it when people tell me what I'm supposed to be doing because my mind is full. It's just full. I've used up all my brain cells. So every Thursday night, I'm going to think about you and I'm going to mail you or email you this episode automatically. And by the way, I've got some fun projects coming up in the spring, uh, summer and fall, you guys, and you, you'll be the first to hear about it. And if we ever run a discount on anything, you'll be the first to hear about it. So if you haven't signed up, please do so today over at lindatupin.com. Now, don't forget in the comments section, tell me what city and state you're from, and also how many of the episodes have you uh, heard or watched? Now, this is also on Apple and Spotify. So guys, if you're driving down the road, eyes straight ahead, hands on nine and three, and, uh, and, and pay attention, but enjoy the conversation. Now, the other thing I'd like to know in the comments section is if you're a veteran, how, and maybe you've listened to three or four or more of these, what has been the most helpful? Not necessarily the speaker or not necessarily the topic, but what has been the most helpful to you? What are you gaining from this podcast? And that helps me develop a pro better product for you. And speaking of products, I am so excited, you guys, about my very first corporate uh, partner. And I told you way back in December that when I started this, that I was never going to advertise for someone who I didn't completely trust and believe in. And that person is Dr. Lena Edwards. And she has partnered with me in, with her brand new product called Adrena Fem. And let me spell that for you. A-D-R-E-N-A-F-E-M. Adrena Fem. Now, you can find this wonderful product and get a discount over at adrenalogic.com, A-D-R-E-N-A-L-O-G-I-X. And if you use the promo code LT, like Linda Tupin, five, you'll get a $5 discount on your very first bottle. So what is this product? Well, most of you know that I've worked with her for over 12 years. She's my personal integrative doctor. I trust my life with her. And so many of you, after I started talking about her last week in my Facebook page, you started giving me your testimonials about this product. I had no idea, you guys. So many of you were using this product, and I was so glad to hear your testimonials. So you can check out testimonials at Adrenalogic or also on my Facebook page. But what can you expect from this product? First of all, it is the only product formulated for women's sex and stress hormone imbalances which is like everybody I know. This all natural product designed to support balanced levels of cortisol and female sex hormones during periods of chronic stress. Anybody out there under stress? Now, what are some of the results that you can expect? More energy, 
weight loss, better memory, focus, and concentration, more stamina and endurance, improved sex drive, improvements in depression and anxiety, better sleep, improvement in symptoms of PMS, perimenopause, and menopause without hormone replacement therapy. This is not a hormone. Okay, that was a question that a lot of you ask. And by the way, a lot of you had questions last time. And if you go to Adrenal Logic, uh, at the very bottom of the page, there'll be a contact button. And you can also message her on Facebook, Dr. Lena Edwards, and in her Facebook group, from barely surviving to absolutely thriving. And so you can also expect enhanced immune system function, protection of bone, heart, and brain health, and protection against the adverse effects of chronic stress. And I know that sounds like a lot, but here's what I do know. I've worked with her for all of these years, and she is a medical detective off the chart. When someone tells you a test is normal, I can promise you she'll almost tell you it is not normal. There's nothing normal about it. That always giggle. I, I don't even bother to tell her what my other doctors say uh, because she just digs deeper. And so I trust her on this product. And based on your all's testimonials, it truly works. So check it out. Use the promo code LT5 for a $5 discount. It is only good, you guys, through the month of April. So check it out and let's see what happens. Well, Today, you guys, I'm so excited about today because in episode 15, you're going to meet one of the most fun women I know. <laughs> I just smiled all morning getting dressed thinking about that I get to introduce my audience to this incredible person. This is what I've really enjoyed about this podcast, you guys, is the fact that I get to introduce you to so many amazing people that have made such a difference in my life. It's just incredible. So I'm going to read you her official accolades, and then I'll tell you some personal stuff about her. Well, first of all, the woman you're about to meet is a single mom, and she works a business from home. Do you see the theme? We've kind of had a theme for the past three months. And um, she left a corporate job and a lot of security in the big city of New York to come home to Louisville, Kentucky to branch out and do something on her own, which could be kind of frightening for a lot of people. But let's meet her professionally, and then we'll learn a lot more about her. She is a celebrated makeup artist, hairstylist, whose work has attracted the world's leading agencies, including Ford, Elite, IMG, Art House Management, Jump, and Julian Watson. Lori's work has been viewed in several successive New York City Fashion Weeks and worked exclusively for the world's top fashion houses. And she's been sent out on location shoots with the industry's leading photographers and represented the most influential cosmetic brands. She, as a stylist for Gardner for two years, was singled out to work alongside the top stylist at Sebastian and L'Oreal. Her experience, talent, and specialist skills in HD and airbrushing also attracted the major TV networks, including HBO, MTV, Bravo, VH1, CNN, Bloomberg, News, and the Food Network. And she worked with many of the top broadcasters that you all see on your mainstream media, uh, including CNN and Bloomberg News. So would you all please welcome my good friend and one of the coolest people I know, Lori Hogg. Hey, Linda, how are you? You know what, Lori, I'm not kidding. All morning long, I kept smiling, thinking, I get to have Lori on my show today. I get to have Lori on my show. And as always, Lori, you look beautiful. And I really worked on my makeup today. I really worked on it because you have done my face many, many times. And uh, it was important to me. So how are things in, you're in Miami now, aren't you? I am. And it is lovely and it is warm and it is humid all the time. And I love it. It's amazing <laughs> right now. <laughs> Life is well, going through all kinds of different. How, how long have you been down there? Because, I mean, I looked up the other day and I thought, when did Lori move to Florida? I just got here in August. So it's been, a, we're still getting our feet wet, but it is well, in the beach. Amazing ocean right down the street. So yeah, pretty quick. Well, 
I'm going to, I'm going to take us back in time to the very first time I ever heard your name. I was having a conversation with my good friend, Vicki O'Bannon. And this was, golly, do you even remember how many years ago this was? <laughs> it was it 15, 18 years. How many years ago was it's, it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's going on 15 years. I'll never forget it. 15 years. I know, right? Okay. But you had been on a dating site. <laughs> I think the story goes like this. You'd been on a dating site. This is how I met you. And not that I was looking for you on a dating site, but I, you were on a dating site. And my good friend, Vicki O'Bannon, uh, somehow met you because you had gone out with somebody that she knew, I think is how the story went. I don't know. You'll have to straighten us out. But all I know is she said this, Linda, you need to meet this woman. She's incredibly good at what she does. And we need her in our life and, uh, and for the people in our organization. And by that time, you had already moved to Louisville, Kentucky. So all I knew is you had some big hot shot from New York City. <laughs> That's all I knew. And then I met you and I was just like, oh my gosh, this is the most wonderful person, most genuine, authentic person. So how on earth, Lori, did you get from New York City to Louisville, Kentucky? And then let's pick up the story from there. Right. It's a far stretch, isn't it? So in a nutshell, I was born and raised in Louisville, but I'd always dreamed, always dreamed of being in New York in the big cities and doing makeup, celebrities, movies, whatever I could. And it happened. It happened. Okay. So I get up to New York. I'm working for Bravo, like she said, CNN, all these amazing things. And I absolutely love it. I love it. But I'm going to be real with y'all. At that time, I was still working. I kind of like a how do you say it? like a lawyer that chases an ambulance you with me like we're just running around like you need work you need work you need work um so i was having a great time in new york but y'all i was exhausted i was exhausted and i was still limited and i didn't i thought i wasn't limited until you and later but i pretty much whatever they would pay me i would take right i didn't really know my worth at the time so i i loved working but I was still kind of captive to the corporate world and how far I could go, how much I could make, what I should wear, what I can say, when I have to be places. Um, so in a nutshell, one day I was blessed with a daughter, right? Blessed, blessed, blessed. And I was working at CNN. And then it kind of got to the point where it was like, okay, how am I going to do this? Keep this lifestyle and be a mom at the same time. It, it was impossible, y'all. Sometimes I started work at 2.15 in the morning and didn't stop till midnight. I had to figure out how to be a mom, but I couldn't take away from my income. So I'm a high-risk pregnancy. I went home to Kentucky and I was just going to visit, right? I was just going to visit. And we'll just say I met some women that taught me that I was pretty much... Mm, chasing ambulances and to switch the business and to switch the way I work and to work more like a grocery store rather than chase, chasing people around and just accepting what I could get. So wow. that's what led me to Louisville. I, right, right. That was a lesson, girl. When I learned that, I opened up a massive, okay, I don't, I don't own a grocery store. Point being, <laughs> instead of me chasing people around for dimes and dollars, I then believed in my own stock and I let people w know what I carry, what's on my shelves, what's beneficial that they can benefit off of in their home. So that is pretty much how I got to Louisville. I decided I wanted to raise my own kid and I would like her to see me at least more than once a week. So I had to make a decision and I jumped and it was horrifying, Linda, but I jumped. <laughs> Well, I, I was just sitting here thinking how terrifying it was. First of all, to be a new mom, you ha were in a high-risk pregnancy. All of those things uh, are scary by themselves. And then we add the mix of we're moving from New York City, the environment in New York City, to a, a smaller Midwestern town like Louisville, Kentucky. But you were with family, okay? You were with your mom and, and with a place that you had grown up. So what would you say in the very beginning, Lori, was the the biggest learning curve like from working from your for yourself you were working for yourself before but it was different so now you have your own show so walk us through some of the things for the people listening like man these are things i had to learn that i wished i'd learned way back then oh goodness gracious you guys 
knowing your strengths one my hardest thing because i always i i'd worked on my own since i was 18 but i always had to leave the house i was always going and i it, this was all on my plate now so being going from a job to going working from home it like obedience discipline is a lot a lot so now don't think like oh that's overwhelming i don't have that much girl i didn't have that much either okay it doesn't take that much it, you'll be shocked all right but delegation would be the next one guys so in new york i was a one-man show i would do emails contacts all this stuff um so it wasn't just like you just showed up and did makeup did hair and left you had to do invoices. You had to chase people down for your work, for the print. I mean, it was bananas. And I was really bad at it, really bad at it. Amazing at makeup. So in a nutshell, when I got home and I decided like, I'm, that's it. I'm going to run my home business grocery store. First thing I needed to do was to find more worth in what I was doing and understand that what I have is beneficial and it's worth something. That was number one. Second was like, okay, now that I have something, I got to be disciplined enough to share this, right? And to not let Monday and Tuesday roll by and go, oh, I haven't done anything. Because out when you're working, working, that's not an option, right? So it was kind of adjusting my schedule. But that was something that was like new to me. Instead of waking up at 2.15 in the morning, I could stop and go, oh, <laughs> I can sleep till nine today. What? <laughs> right? I can take a half day off. I can schedule myself until my child needs to get out of school and then I'm done the rest of the day. Oh my gosh. So those were massive, massive, massive learning cur curves. But I got to say with the delegation, you all, it was such a moment of freedom. Um, you'll hear like, you know, when you start owning your own business, um, get rid of, you know, tedious tasks don't panic it's like you know someone told me and i was like oh my gosh i don't have the money to hire a maid i'm a single mom <laughs> my best friend was like hey give me 150 bucks and i'll help you clean your house i was like oh, deal <laughs> deal so it was building little stepping blocks like okay so instead of me spending all day doing laundry getting the kid cleaning the house doing the dishes i'm a single mom i gotta mow the lawn i gotta weed eat i gotta do everything i gotta water the plants i it, I am the plumber, right? So somehow I had to fit in business by, so other people and reaching out to them, guys, like just even helping me or I'll just pay you to do it was so beneficial. But the number one in delegation was me realizing what I'm good at and what I'm bad at. Wow. And I need to hire someone to help me with what I'm bad at. It's right. It's overwhelming for me to try to learn. Hire well, somebody that's good at the bad stuff. <laughs> Go ahead, Linda. <laughs> I just want to I just want to say amen to everything that you've just said because you you just kind of summarized the last three episodes, which is know your strengths because that's what's going to make you money, all right. And then all the things that are not your strengths, you have to surround yourself with people who have those strengths, and then uh, give that those tasks to them so that you can go make more money at your gifts and your strengths. So so how how long before after you came home and started on your own, how long did it take you? Was it months or years before you really felt like, okay, I've got this, I know what I'm doing now, and I'm comfortable in this role? Or did it happen automatically for you? It, it did not. It, once I got a team together, then it felt like, oh, we can do this, and we can do this easily, and the sky's the limit. By myself, I was kind of I was crawling, it, I was succeeding, I was going up, but not at the speed that I wanted to because I, I just had too much on my plate and, and learning try to, how to do other things that I didn't know how to do. So the minute I delegated, done, I was running, it was gone. <laughs> it was dust is all you saw. You were gifted in the arts, you were gifted in the creativity side. And I mean, I honestly, I couldn't even imagine you having to do emails and billing and all of the other components of your business, because I know you really well. I, I, I can't even imagine the stress level in your body of you having to do that. And, and I also know from my audience listening today, so many of you do or have started in-home businesses and you're trying to be the treasurer, the secretary, the president, you're trying to be marketing and advertising and all you're going to end up is tired and then broke because you didn't have time to really go 
do what you've been, God has gifted you to do with your life. And so I remember that transition for you. I remember when your team came together. And in fact, Lori, I had kind of forgotten this. Katie, my daughter, actually traveled with you for a while. She was part of your team, wasn't she? What did she do exactly? I don't even remember. <laughs> Except honestly, she's been on a lot of TV shows and she does a lot of music videos and she literally does her own makeup because you taught her how to do makeup. She oftentimes her makeup is better than the people they hire. Right. Well, well look at the tables turn. So I hired a young lady that was incredible and had this amazing mother that introduced her to all these insane business concepts. And she sat down and taught me. And that would be part of the team that said, oh, you're doing it wrong. If you do it this way, <laughs> this is how you do it. <laughs> so Katie, she did everything. She taught me about the website and taught me about get someone like myself to do the website, to price products, to reach out to people, to ship products. So it katie literally taught me how to delegate and it was amazing amazing <laughs> i still well, love her I, 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 know, I know that it greatly benefited her lori to to be associated with oh. you and, and with with your with your business so uh so now today all these years later you basically uh why don't you describe your business i you sell a line of products that people can purchase and they can purchase you they can purchase your knowledge in a group setting uh, where you can come and work with people all day long and, and teach them concepts and, and actual hands-on demonstration of makeup. And um, you also have a wonderful subscription service, which I belong. I always love getting your emails and your tutorials. So tell us a little bit about your company now and how people can reach you. Oh my goodness. Okay. So now I have the blessing and the option. I kind of had two businesses mixed in one. So I have a business where I can go out and I can meet people face to face and help them out with makeup and do training or my favorite right now. Oh, guys, I didn't grow up in a time like this. The online business. Hmm. It's kind of opened some doors that we have never been able to reach. If you weren't door to door, uh, it was word of mouth and the online business guys, I, if you are thinking about it and you're like, I don't know about this online stuff, go, my friend, go. So in a nutshell, what I get to do now, I get to be a full-time mom in full-time ministry and a full-time makeup artist in training. It is amazing. So what we do is I do videos and I do workshops. And um, my whole goal is to train young ladies that are in the cosmetic industry so that they're just more aware of their product and that they're if they're selling products or if they're purchasing products, if they're just getting into the business, they know which line does what and who should I use this with? How do I do this? Um, so my whole job now is building confidence in women in the same industry um, and helping them reach their potential. Rather, it's sales, artistry, um, marketing, communication, whatever that is. So that's what we've turned into. And we have a subscription right now. It's $10 a month. And it is so much fun, so much fun. Every month you get um, several videos of some of my favorite products, how to use them. I put them on for you and record it. It's so much fun. And every week we have a live Q and A. So you can ask any makeup question you want and I jump on and answer it live. And every three months we have a giant get together for you and some of your friends. And I just, we sit there and play in makeup for about an hour, hour and a half and it is so much fun and it's really cool to watch people join in that are real nervous and unsure and because of the fruit of the community <laughs> of the group um people are just blossoming and growing and building confidence and not feeling silly and really taking um their role by the horns and it's amazing linda amazing so well, if you're into I it come check me out <laughs> Well, I, I can I can flat out tell you because I've sat through many of your workshops that I walked out with my head higher, uh, my you know my confidence just soared that it was like oh my gosh I know what in the heck I'm doing, 
uh, for even for myself, you know, even for my own makeup application. And, and even if you're just helping some friends with their makeup application, this is not your business. I mean, it's so beneficial. And like I said, I love being on your subscription service and watching your videos and all of that from the convenience of my home. Uh, and people can also book you for an online presentation in addition to a in-person presentation. Is that correct? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So how would they reach you? What, what, where do they, where do they go? What, how do they reach you? Gotcha. So you just go to my website, easy peasy, lorihog.com. And you can email me at info at lorihog.com. So go, if you go to the website, it's got the subscription. It's got all other fun details of things that we've got going on. If you want to check them out and look into them. So it's a very easy website to navigate. I mean, that's Lori H, excuse me, L O R I. H O G G. So there's two G's in hog, lorihog.com, and they can get all the information and they can also reach out to you if they have a question that's not answered there. All right. Oh, and this, perfect. Thank you, Linda. And the subscription is $10 a month. Is that correct? Okay. Yes. Well, uh, it would not be an interview without Lori Hogg to tell the rest of the story. A long time ago, uh, what was the guy? that was on the radio that did the rest of the story has met his name just escaped me. Come on, you guys. Um, Paul Harvey, Paul Harvey would start these broadcasts. That was like before podcasts, but it was really kind of a podcast. He would tell this amazing story. Uh, that, and then he would at the end tell you the rest of the story, like the part that brought it all together that you weren't expecting. And that's kind of how I want to end this because I've known lots about Lori Hogg. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, it was, uh, it wasn't surprising because you eventually become like the five people that you hang around and you were hanging around some very based, principally based, Christian based, amazing people in your business. And eventually you become like them. And I know that a few years ago, and, and I don't want to tell your story. I'm just going to tell you how it looked from my perspective. I opened my Facebook to find a very tearful Lori Hogg uh, giving her testimony for Jesus Christ. And, and I, I won't say that I was shocked, but I was like blown away. Um, but I mean, I mean, I'm sitting there crying because the transformation that had happened inside your heart and just who you were, I mean, it was already evident that this transformation had happened, but man, oh man. And now we're in a ministry that you have started, I believe, or you're part of, and I want you to tell us your testimony, if you would be so kind. Oh my gosh. Okay. So now you get to see the little crazy excited me like, oh. <laughs> So in a nutshell, I love New York. I love life, right? Um, but I, I had, I, I wouldn't say I walked away from my faith. I just didn't believe in it anymore, right? I didn't believe in a lot. And I just thought things are what they are. And like Linda said, birds of a feather flock together, y'all. And I watched women that were experiencing things that I weren't, I wasn't, all right? I see them like, they're, they're really joyful. They're, they're not stressing over something that would, put me in the hospital panic attack like they're calm they're peaceful like what are you drinking what can I have some it's Jesus juice okay did not know that all right I didn't so in a nutshell man it was amazing because the organization that I was working with these women were so heavenly and godly and they were like imported and planted in different parts of my life so in a nutshell i end up going to a church and guys like every my whole life changed i had some really hard things happen really hard things um and i really wasn't sure if i was going to continue anything let alone life right I, it was pretty rough at that time um my work was amazing um but there, i still had life <laughs> outside of work that was not amazing so in a nutshell, um, just as I thought things were literally coming to an end, you all, I had um, some amazing women uh, guide me uh, to my faith again. And I was able to look at it with all new eyes, all new eyes. So I'm 
walking around like this baby Christian, like a bull in a china shop. It was the most amazing thing. I had an encounter with Jesus Christ. I never thought it was possible. I always thought people were like that. I was like, they're crazy. What are you talking about? ever? Really, when I was younger, I was like, he don't even exist. Y'all, he is for real. He is real. And I'm here to tell you he's real, okay? He's like, it's almost scary real. Like, oh, I didn't really like, if this is for real, for real. So in a nutshell, I'll just tell you about my experience. I had a lot of anxiety. Um, I've been uh, ADD since before the womb. Uh, I suffered from uh, PTSD. I suffered from uh, massive amounts of trauma from childhood, even to adulthood, all this bad stuff, right? Bad stuff. I was told by doctors, you will be like this forever. And just between us, in my home state of Kentucky, I actually qualify um, for mental disability because of the amount of trauma. Um, and doctors said, there is nothing, no medicine will ever fix this. It'll numb it, but it'll fix it. Yeah, I did not know that um, Jesus was medicine. Uh, so that was my encounter. I went from not believing in him to being healed by him. And he literally <laughs> changed my anxiety. My pe I'm peaceful. I'm joyful. Um, and then I decided to become a business partner with him. And he was like, if you thought business was easy before, wait till now. And it has been amazing, y'all. If you do not, if you have not asked Jesus to partner up with you in your business, girl, I'm telling you, you're missing out. He's pretty good at finances. Just throwing that out there. He's pretty good at everything. Booking, keeping you calm. It's been amazing. It has changed my family. Um, we had a family of five that hadn't spoken because of family trauma. And the Lord rebuilt us in the pews of the church. Week by week, another church member that nobody had talked to in years, or another church member, family member, would just come and sit. And instead of going, this is what, and revisiting, we just welcomed with open arms and love. And all that led me to women in Tampa. And I work with a ministry called Kalal Culture. It is phenomenal, you guys. And it is revealing truth, restoring earth, and uh, release in heaven. And we do silent retreats. So people come and you literally sit at the feet of Jesus. You would not believe what happens when you are quiet. <laughs> There's a reason we don't like to be quiet. Um, but those retreats saved my life. They changed my life. Um, I always thought the Lord was proud of me and wanted us to work in stress and chaos. And that if we worked in a peaceful, calm manner, that it was, we weren't taking advantage. Like, you know, work harder, work, be here to work the hardest you can. And the Lord showed me like, I actually don't want you to work from fear. I want you to work from joy. And when I was like, oh, total new level of my business, total new level with my family. Um, it has been absolutely incredible. From Kala, I met up with some people in Miami and I experienced a night of worship like I have never seen before in my life. I'm a dancer, y'all, okay? I'm a dancer. And I go lie. Sometimes when I worship, I'm like, ooh. You know, but I'm in a club and I'm like, ooh. I don't, go, I don't go to clubs anymore. But when I went to this worship spot, I heard music. I saw jumping and dancing and it was, it was so much fun, you guys. I had the best time ever. And so I joined up with that ministry and our whole ministry is literally, thy will be done heaven as it is in earth and bringing earth or earth down to heaven, bringing heaven to earth and kind of creating spots that is just freedom. There's healing. It is just you and the Lord and worship and praise. And it's phenomenal, phenomenal. So that is what I've been doing as well as being a full-time mom and being a full-time business partner. It has been amazing, my friends. Amazing. Well, it's interesting that we're having this conversation today because I like two of my very best friends are at a silent retreat right now. I, I think most of my audience are familiar with silent retreats, uh, the walk of, uh, you know, all of those, but, uh, Lori, there is absolutely, you couldn't watch you and not understand this is, this is not coming from some level of pretense or rehearsal. This is pure, raw, from your soul, from your heart uh, experience. And uh, I am just bowled over by it all. And, and I've had this conversation with you before privately that, you know, uh, I saw the change coming and we all saw it coming because birds of a feather do flock together. 
And you can't, that's why people's associations and the people they allow in their head are so important. And what you watch on the internet and what you watch on TV is so important because it's programming. And for you to come to this place and to be involved with a ministry that you have found is just, I mean, only God could have done all that. No person could have done all that. And so I just want to personally tell you that you are changing people's lives, Lori, and that, you know, God is working through you. He, he really is working through you in ways that you can't even imagine. And I'm so proud to even know you and call you friend. I love you so can much, you, Wanda. Thank you. Can you give us the spelling of your ministry so we can put it on the screen? Yes. Kala Culture. It's Kala Retreats at K-A-L-L-A-H. And you can look up Kala Retreats. We do several of them. We have an, an unveiling intensive. So I tell people, like when you come to a come away with me, that's a silent retreat. It's like Jesus feeding you sour patch kids and he's like oh here you go but when you come to an unveiling it's like jesus holding a fire hose in your face and he's like open wide and you're like whoa it's incredible so that would be <laughs> kalabretreats.com that phenomenal phenomenal and Lori, i understand that you have a special event coming up in june that you would like to tell our audience about Oh my gosh, June 4th, I need you to get online right now, purchase a flight with Spirit and get down here to Miami, Florida for June 4th. You all, I know I, I've got some worship friends out there, but I'm telling you, it was enough to make me go from my hometown, Kentucky, to take off and run down here to Miami. June 4th, we are having a living room right here in Miami, Florida. It starts at 8 p.m. We don't wrap up till 11, 12 dress comfy be ready to worship like you have never worshiped before we're talking about dancing sweating meeting people having a ball healing restoration the whole nine happens there so june 4th with the living room worship feel free to you can come follow us on instagram um i if you follow me i will definitely make sure that you know what's going on and around with the living room so again the living room worship june 4th 8 p.m in miami florida cannot wait and hope to see some of you guys there thank you linda all right and Lori, what is the website for them to register for that event we don't have a website yet so we are based off instagram and it's kind of private invitation if you will so this is the first big public public invitation okay so they just need to find you on instagram and that instagram uh account is called living room yep lr worship L R worship on Instagram. Okay, very good. Well, thank you for letting us know all about that. So as we close out this episode, is there anything that you would just like to summarize? If, if you were talking to a new business owner or to a person out there who knows that they're stuck in a corporate job, they know that there's, there's a lot more in them, that they've been gifted a lot more than being used at this 40 hour week job that they're working for another person and they want to break away what what advice would you give them today as we close do it do it stop wasting time stop making other people so much money you are worth every dime that you make out there you don't have to share your paychecks okay <laughs> it is a totally different world right now so not only can you have a business that's like in the face with people you guys this whole online thing opens you up to not just people around you, people in different states, people in different countries. So if you're questioning it and you're like, I don't know if I can do it for myself, do it for your family. If you're going, I don't have one yet, you might. And if you do, you will be very grateful. You can ask Linda Tubin about my daughter. My daughter at eight years old was able to do things that grown adults that worked with me could not. She ran a table and it built her confidence. My child, now without being a workaholic, we became a teammate. And it changed our entire dynamic. Um, it, it's changed her tra trajectory of life because she saw these are good people, happy people. This is fun. It doesn't, you're not a tree. If you're not happy where you are, move. Cool. <laughs> and that's the best thing about this world. Y'all have control. It's time for us to take control back of our lives, of our income, of our dreams and what we want to do and stop 
listening to the people that are handing the check to limit us on this is all you can do this you can't eat here this week maybe next year <laughs> dig in guys because there is plenty of money out here and we have plenty of people that i'm sure that want your services my friend so do it <laughs> oh my gosh lori you have just made my day and i have no doubt that you have made the day of everybody that tuned in today and they will be sharing this episode with so many people so check out lori at lorihog.com and also check out her ministry you guys thank you so much lori for being here today and for my audience Thank you, you guys. It is because of your likes, your comments, and your shares that this thing has just continued to blossom. And in fact, today I meant to run my numbers and I didn't. I think we're getting close to 100,000 views on all the different platforms just in these few first months. And it's because of each and every one of you. And I appreciate you. We will have some very special things coming up in the summer and the fall. And if you're on my email, mailing list linda tupin.com go ahead and sign up you'll be the first to hear about them you guys and it wouldn't be an episode of common sense choices if i didn't give a shout out to my soulmate he doesn't know i'm his soulmate his name is mike rowe somebody out there knows mike rowe personally and you're gonna tell him there's this chick who is your soulmate and you have to like tune in and meet her because she is convinced because we think just alike. Anyway, you guys, it's been fun. Lori, it's been a blast as always. You guys have a wonderful week and we can't wait to see you next week on Common Sense Choices.